Notice all the different TMAX sessions I have open. Sometimes you just have so many that you just want to clean them up. There are usually two ways. You just navigate down to the session that you want to close. This one, for example, press the letter X. You're going to get that confirmation message. So you have to type Y, but notice what's going to happen to the cursor. After I press Y, it's going to move to the top. But if you want to delete another one, you come down, look for it. You press the letter X, then you have to type Y again and the cursor move to the top. That's just one way of doing it. And it's really inconvenient because the cursor it keeps moving to the top and you get a confirmation message which makes it really slow to clean them up but i'll show you the solution in a little while what's another way and faster to clean them up you can tag the sessions you just press the letter t it's gonna move to the one below t t t let's say that i don't want to close these i just want to close these down here just press the letter t t t t and that's it once you have all of them tagged you can press capital x you're gonna get a confirmation message kill nine tagged you just type y and that's gonna clear all of them notice which tmax binary i'm using it's here under homebrew tmax i'm gonna switch to a version applied with a few changes and I'll see you in a little bit. Notice that now I'm using a different Tmax. It's in my GitHub repo in this directory Tmax. Now I'm going to bring up my Tmax sessions. You do this with prefix S. And you're going to notice that I'm going to close the Tmax sessions with the letter D. I'm not going to get a confirmation message and the cursor is going to stay in the same place. So let's say that I want to close the session down here. Just press the letter D. Then I press D here. D, 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 D. And I'm just left with a single session. So remember that two things happened, no confirmation message and the cursor kept its position. This is similar to the way that I navigate buffers and that I manage buffers in NeoVim. Let me show you real quick. Let me bring up my dot .files latest session. In my case, I press hyper TJ. I'm in this session right now. You can see it here at the top. I'm going to bring up NeoVim. I'm just going to restore my session here. And you're going to notice that I have five buffers open. Just going to press Shift H, that brings up telescope buffers. I can navigate the buffers the exact same way. They are also sorted by most recently used, the same way as my Tmax sessions. And I can close buffers as well with the letter D, 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 D. So navigation between Tmax sessions and any event buffers is basically the same. And that makes things really easy and convenient for me. If you want to know how I configured telescope buffers this way, because it automatically puts itself in normal mode and I can close buffers with the letter D, I have a video, which is the one highlighted on the screen, how I navigate between buffers and NeoVim. Go and check it out and I explain how to set up everything there. Now let me show you my Tmux configuration file and I'll show you what's going on. A little disclaimer before we go into this, there's no release with these changes yet. Let me go to the Tmux repo and you're going to notice that the last release was four days ago. Today is October 9th. Let's go to issues. Let's see the ones that are actually closed. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. And notice this issue, feature request, kill sessions and choose tree without confirmation. Let me open that. And if we scroll down here, this is just something that I requested to get rid of that confirmation message. So the maintainer was kind enough to apply the changes and just provided the files so that I could patch them. If you scroll down here, you'll find the description and a lot of more details. This is the file that he provided. That was just to get rid of the confirmation message. But even after that, the cursor was still moving to the top. So I just kindly requested that to see if it would be possible for the cursor to stay in the same place. It did apply those changes. If we scroll down here a little bit more, this is the other one. This is what keeps the cursor in the same place. And uh, if we keep scrolling down a little bit more, I tested it just the way that you noticed right now in the video. It works just fine. The changes are applied to OpenBSD right now. They're going to be in GitHub later. Not sure when that is. This was three days ago. So you have two options. Number one, manually apply the patches in this issue. But if I were you, honestly, I would just wait for the changes to be applied. Remember that you can see about the changes in the main repo and you're gonna find them here under releases probably gonna see something 3.5b or something we'll see if you like tmux of course make sure you click the start button but most importantly if you can if you have the chance i think this is one of the best tools one of my favorite cli tools to be honest if not my favorite cli tool come here to the sponsor this project section click on this little heart here and you can sponsor the developer you can do it on a monthly basis or you can do it one time there are 53 current sponsors and 90 past sponsors 
answers. So if you're a Tmux fan as well, let's help the developer bringing these numbers up because it's a lot of work that needs to be put and we shouldn't be taking it for granted. I don't know the developer. The only interaction I have had with him is through the discussion that I created. But if you're like me, you use Tmux a lot, consider giving something back. So now let's go back to the configuration. And this is the flag, the one that you see here on the right hand side, minus Y, that removes the confirmation message when you bring up choose tree. I bring it up with the letter S. So that usually is control B S configured it differently. So in my case, it's hyper F and the letter S. This is choose tree. Just going to quit out of here with Q. You would just need to add this minus Y flag so that it does not ask you for a confirmation message. Notice that I left a lot of notes, a lot of detail in my Tmux configuration file. When you bring up the list of sessions, always want it sorted by the most recently used. So that way that session always shows at the top of the list. And the least used sessions always show at the bottom because usually you're just switching between your recent sessions. I also use the alternate session a lot. So if I go to my home session and I press hyper TH and I want to go back to the previous session, I normally press hyper F space. If I want to go back again, hyper F space, hyper F space. So I do that to alternate sessions a lot. I have a few Tmux videos. This is in which I go over the setup of Tmux. This is the Tmux Sessionizer video. If you want to know how I navigate between Tmux sessions using keyboard shortcuts, this is the video to watch. These were my first videos. They're a little bit outdated, but I'm planning on creating a new Tmux video explaining a lot of the new changes that I have applied in my configuration. If you don't have the patches applied and you try to reload your Tmux configuration, you're going to get a message at the top saying that this flag is unknown minus Y. So just wait until it's released or if you know what you're doing, apply the patches yourself. Hey, this is me from the future. Something that I forgot to mention is how to close items in choose tree with the letter D instead of the letter X. Let me look for that option. I scroll down here and here's where you will find it. So here is the letter, which is the one that I want to replace. So just make sure you add this command, the pain mode, tree mode. This is what we're replacing. So instead of pressing the letter X, I want to send the letter D. You'll notice that the D is here once, but it's also here. I also replaced another one here so you can get a better idea. To delete all the tagged panes, you usually do it with capital X, but I changed that too. So instead of capital X, it's with capital D. So notice the capital D is here and the capital D is here. This is what we're replacing, which is the capital X. So this is just in case you want to use different keys to close the buffers. The only reason why I switched these is because I use D in Neovim to close buffers. So I just wanted things to stay consistent. Okay, let's go back to the video. The other thing that we discussed about the cursor not staying in the right place, you don't need to do anything about that. The second fix that the developer shared automatically takes care of that. You don't need to modify anything in your configuration file. Just apply the fix and that's it. Let me show you where my tmux configuration file is. Notice this is the path that files latest tmux, tmux.conf.sh. I have my dot files open here. If you like my dot files, if you find information that is useful and valuable, make sure to start them. And here's basically where you can find everything related to my Mac OS configuration, NeoVim, everything that I use. If you go here to the search bar, I'm going to type for Tmux conf. Here's the file. Just going to open it. And this up to date. As of now, you're going to find all the different changes here. And you're going to find descriptions, which I think are really important to understand what's going on and what you're setting up. If you would like me to create a Tmux video, in which I go over the different options that I have, and you would like me to explain them, let me know. And I'll be more than happy to do that. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments. Also share your favorite Tmux options. If you have any suggestions, also let me know down in the comments. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.